You've been part of this unit, 2nd 95th now, for how long? Uh, ooh, seven, oh, seven, so s seven years, eight years. Seven or eight years. Eight years. So, not a, a short time by any standards. Um, what is it that keeps you in a hobby that takes you out in the cold weather and makes you uh, <laughs> dress in, in sometimes uncomfortable clothing? What is it for you? Uh, a good question and uh, a difficult one to answer. And I think most reenactors would struggle to answer that question. They could make random replies, but. Uh, I don't know, I woke up on a Friday morning and I thought, oh goodness, I wanted to be Saturday, I wanted to be able to lie in and the warmth, etc, etc, and yet my wife turns to me and says, yes, but on Saturday morning you'll be waking up at sub-zero temperatures at six o'clock in the morning in a barn, it's freezing, etc, etc, and yet you'll feel rested and revived as much as you had would if you'd had a lie in. And what do you think in that the home. is? Um, I don't know. Is it the is it the camaraderie? Uh, is it the fresh air? Is it the just being away from? But you could do life that in other aspects. You can go camping. Why is it that you chose this hobby? Something steeped in history. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the bottom line is. And I, th and I think there must be thousands of reenactors who, yes, they can say, oh yes, I like, I like the, I like the crack, I like being with the guys, I like dressing up, I like doing, this. but when they try and narrow it down, they probably doesn't really compute, and uh, it's a, this invisible force that just draws you in, and uh, yeah, there's, there's the jocularity, the uh, Gower, <laughs> I flinch when I say that name. Uh, there is the waking up to a new scene on every occasion. Um, a rur usually rural, pastoral. Uh, seeing a side of the English countryside or stately homes or locations that Joe Public doesn't usually see. Uh, and the sound of that bugle. <laughs>